Hello, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate uh, Vauxhall Vivaro 1.6 CDTI. Uh, this is a nine seat minibus uh, with air conditioning and a rear tailgate. Um, uh, obviously nine seats fitted inside, uh, additional rear, rear privacy glass fitted to it as well. Uh, it's only covered 58,000 miles from new, warranted miles from the lease company. Um, in overall, really good condition. There's a couple of minor bits we'll get sorted on it. I'll point those out to you as we go around on the video. But overall, uh, nice condition van. Possibly suitable for conversion. Completely up to you guys. Obviously, it's nine-seat minibus format as it stands at the moment. So condition lies, let's, uh, let's just run you through it. Just starting to rain here now, which is a pain in the ass, but there we go. Uh, roof all pretty good. No roof racks up on there or anything like that. So I think it's fairly straight and tidy up on the top there. But I think you've probably got a better view of it than I have. Coming down onto your front windscreen. Uh, front windscreen. Now it's raining. <laughs> but uh, there's nothing major stone chip wise that's gonna cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. So all good from that point of view. Down onto your bonnet. Uh, bonnet, a uh, bit of stone chipping on the bonnet, nothing major, major, um, but there are stone chips on there. Um, try and point those out to you. There's, there's nothing massively significant. Been touched up a little bit, but nothing major. Uh, but again, it's it's straight and tidy for the age and the miles, to be fair. So hopefully you can see that in the video. Coming down onto your front bumper. So your front grille's all good. Front bumper's all good. Coming around to the passenger side of the vehicle. Passenger side headlamp unit is all good, nice and secure. Passenger side front bumper corner. Again, all clean and tidy. No scuffs, nothing like that. This is just uh, bits of uh, greenery off the trees, feather of whatever... Um, trees so that's all straight and tidy no scuffs um, and coming round to the rest of the vehicle driver's side front bumper corner again no scuffs on there either driver's side headlamp units all good uh, just the fit of the bumpers if you're looking around at Vivaro's you know that they're really prone to uh, the clips breaking on the bumpers here which are then a nightmare to clip back in this one's all pretty damn good to be fair and if we look down the side of the vehicle, it's just come back from the detailer. So the detailer has uh, mopped and polished it. It's got a really nice gleam to the paintwork. Uh, there's no major paintwork damage on this vehicle at all. Um, might be bits of wear and tear, but nothing major on it at all. Um, so looking down the side profile, nothing to point out to you from a, from a, a derogatory, from a cosmetic point of view. Steel wheels are in nice condition. Uh, I'd suggest those have possibly been uh, recently refurbed by the lease company. Uh, you've got a Continental uh, Vanco tire on the front there. Tire tread depth on that is plenty, as you can see. Driver's side front wing, uh, again, uh, all good. Mirror unit, driver's side, nice and secure. No scuffing on that, and your mirrors are in good condition as well. Driver's side door glass, uh, again, all good, no scratches on it. Coming down onto the door itself. Um, was it this door? A little, really, really minor little ding on there. Again, nothing major. But door itself, all pretty good. Behind your door handles, there's not unduly scratched. Your door handles are good condition, no signs of any forced entry. And the same on this side as well. We've got a few cobwebs. Um, but uh, yeah, all tidy behind there. So sliding door to twin side loading door van. So side loading doors on both the driver and passenger side. And as you can see with the finish we get when they come back from the detail is it's like a mirror finish, isn't it? On the black paintwork. So really nice and tidy. No damage to point out to you. If I get down low now, have a look down the side if you look at the bottom of the sills the sills are all straight and tidy they're not being banged your black plastic rubbing strips down the side of the van are in good condition with no scuffing on them either it is the long wheelbase version of this one so that's how you can tell you get the additional length just on the uh, arch there but uh, all good and again rear quarters nice and tidy steer wheels on the back 
all good. Another Continental Vanco tire, and again, plenty of tire tread depth left on that tire as well. Your driver's side rear bumper corner is in good condition with no damage and no scuffs. Your rear light units are in good order. Your rear fog light and reverse light units are in good order. And again, just giving you another quick viewpoint down the side. Look at that, it's like a mirror, isn't it? This is a really lovely finish to the bodywork. Uh, I will quickly show you on the driver's side, rear side loading door opens nicely. Sliding rail is all in good condition. Your entry steps on this side are in good condition. Plastic entry steps, again, good condition. They're not chewed up or anything like that. Rear seats, so back of your front seats are in good order with no signs of any uh, rips or tears or stains or anything like that. Your headlining in the back of the vehicle, again, all in good order. Middle seats, as you can see, three forward front facing seats in the middle with um, seat belts and you have ISOFIX on the outer of those seats. Uh, those are in good order. And then looking into the back of the vehicle, your, uh, your three rearmost seats in the back. Again, no uh, tears or anything like that, all pretty good. Flooring in the back. So combi vans, I don't know how they do it, but you know, you always get these elements of little bits of kind of surface rust on the, on the welds. Um, it's not unusual to see it, I don't know why. I see it on Customs, I see it on Vivaros. Um, you know, we can spray them a little bit with some uh, black paint to make those look a little bit nicer for you. But overall inside, for a nine seat minibus, it's not been abused. Um, you know, it's not had the, <coughs> the rear seats, the back of the seats kicked out and, you know, by kids or anything like that. It is in, it is in good order. So as you can see, rear end of the vehicle, it is the single tailgate. Uh, it is glazed with heated rear window and wash wipe. All of those will be boxes you've had to have ticked. Uh, no parking sensors on this one, I'm afraid. Um, they can be retrofitted. We can get you a cost for that, should you wish. Um, but uh, tailgate itself is in good order with no dents or dings. And into the rear of the vehicle. So, as I say, headlining's all good. Back of the rear seat's all good. Flooring in the back, all good. It's obviously carriage stuff in the back and it's scratched the arches on both sides because that's just your bare metal arch. I think van style may even do arch covers for the back of the Vivaros. I'd have to double check on eBay. Um, but normally, yeah, I think normally you can get, if that bothers you, you can get some plastic wheel arch covers for them. Um, but, you know, they use commercial vehicles, so they're always going to have done a job. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, tailgate above us, above our heads, actually, like the rear tailgate boards in good condition. Sometimes you can see that quite battered and broken, but that's all pretty good. Goes down, closes nicely. Passenger side rear light unit, upper light units, all good. Now we do have a crack in your rear reverse light lens here. That's your fog light and your rear reverse light lens. We'll have to replace that unit, but we'll get that sorted on it for you. So it shouldn't be a major drama. Now rear bumper, a little bit of impact damage on your rear bumper there, as you can see. They've obviously caught it a little bit, haven't they? And it's, you know, it's just deformed the bumper a little bit. We'll see what we can do with a hot air gun on that to get it back into shape. I don't think they're a major drama when it comes to money, 50, 60 quid, something like that. So we have to go down that route and replace. We will do if we can heat it up with a kettle and a heat gun and uh, mold it back into place, we'll do that, okay? Looking down the passenger side of the vehicle, again, no dental dings point out to you, very straight and tidy. And then uh, the, uh, let's say, rear quarter, all good. No cosmetic uh, stuff to point out to you. Quite a dark tint that's been put on the back of the vehicle. I have to say it's probably, whether it's limo or not, but it is quite a dark tint. So, you know, getting right up close to it, you can't see into the back. Yeah, I, I would suggest it's like a limo tint that's been put on the back there. Steel wheel this side again, probably been uh, refurbished. And again, another Continental Vanco tire with loads of tire tread depth on there as well so that's all good um sliding door passenger side again all good and again if we get down low here looking down the sills along the along the bottom edge of the vehicle no sill damage on it 
and your rubbing strip going down the side of the vehicle is in good order with no damage to that either. Passenger side, front door, uh, all good. Passenger side, door glass is all good. Mirror unit, passenger side, no signs of any damage. The mirrors themselves are all good as well. And then passenger side, front wing, again, is in good order with no damage on it. Steel wheel, this side again, probably refurbed and another Vanco tire, Continental. So loads of tire tread depth on that one. So I would suggest it's probably had um, all four steel wheels refurbished in its time. And it's nice that all the Continental tires all match up, doesn't it? So uh, door cards in the front. This is a passenger side door card. No signs of, uh, you know, little bits of marks on the plastics there from stuff being stored in the doors. But on the whole, pretty good condition. Uh, entry steps on the passenger side front, again, in very good condition. And your flooring in the front of the vehicle is in lovely condition as well. Dashboard, glove box, fascia of the dash, all nice and tidy. Top of your dashboard, pretty clean to be fair. In your glove box, uh, you've got your book pack there as well. Uh, books are in there, codes, etc. I think the service book, if we have one, is in the office. It might be it's got a service print with it, I don't know. We'll have to verify that, but it'll generally be on the advert for you, that will be. Passenger front seat in good condition. I think the seat could do with a bit of a, a wet wash, to be fair, so we can get that sorted out on it for you, but there's no undue wear or tear from that point of view. Uh, underneath here is your bonnet release. So I'll pop that open for you and very quickly show you underneath the bonnet so your bonnet release is just to there's your Vauxhall badge just over to the right there move it to the left and open it up as you can see you've got hydraulic rams that keep your bonnet open and then looking underneath your bonnet here uh, no major dramas it's pretty clean uh, brake fluid is there and that's clean and tidy uh, power steering fluid uh, sorry, that's brake fluid. Oh God, brake fluid, power steering fluid, both of them clean and tidy. There's your antifreeze, as you can see, that's the right color and there's no contamination in there either. So all good from that point of view. Looking downwards, there's no obvious signs of any major oil leaks or anything like that. And then coming around, driver's side. Again, driver's side door card, no signs of any significant damage. Uh, the uh, paper mat over there that I've just thrown in there, but they're nice and clean in your door cards. Your entry steps, the plastics are all good. Even the flooring underneath your pedals is in pretty good condition. Rubbers on the pedals are all good. Driver's side seat squabs, all good. These quite often wear out from people getting in and out, but this one's pretty good. There's your handle that adjusts your seat height. You do have an armrest on the driver's side seat as well. And as you can see, the driver's side seat is in good condition as well. Um, just looking at, or well, trying to find the keys. So keys are in my pocket. Here we have uh, dashboard illumination, headlamp levelers. And this is your electronic stability program. It's always on on the vehicle unless you press that button to turn it off. Top of the dashboard, driver's side, very clean and tidy. And as is the steering wheel. So if I just get into the vehicle, let's just fire it up for you. So as you can see, fires up nicely, no warning lights other than to tell us that we have our handbrake on at the moment. Uh, 58,334 miles. The steering wheel itself is in lovely condition. So with these steering wheels, they can wear quite badly to be fair, but this one's nice. You can still see it's got like the pimples on the steering wheel, very nice and tidy. Right hand stalk gives you your wipers and on the button on the side of there is your um, buttons for your onboard computer system which runs you through all the stuff on here. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of tight pressure monitor on there as well. Um, yeah, tells us how many how much our blue we've got left in the tank, range on the tank, uh, all of that malarkey as well. Currently averaging 34.2 miles per gallon. So not bad really for a vehicle of this size. And then, um, yeah, uh, what lights are on your left-hand stalk? So side lights, main lights, and for your main beam, you push it away from you and turn your main beam off and pull it back towards you. Horns on your steering wheel here. 
does have stop start technology on it and then over here we have your Bluetooth telephone system and your DAB FM and AM uh, stereo system so Bluetooth phone and Bluetooth music and then DAB FM AM uh, as well all important air conditioning not standard on this model so this one does have it and your six-speed manual gearbox as well we've got a power point over here this one is for your heated mirrors we've got a USB power on the top here as well and we've got a little cup holder there as well hazard warning lights and rear central locking or locking for the whole van is on there and that's about it so you know it's a really tidy van um, sensible on the miles so 2016 Obviously, it's now coming up to five years old, done 58,000 miles from new. It is the long wheelbase, nine seat, uh, with a rear tailgate, twin side loading doors and air conditioning. Um, there are 70 odd photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country. And you can contact us on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Well done, you've just made it through 16 odd minutes of me banging on about it. But if there's any further questions I can help you with, feel free to get in touch. And thanks for looking at the video. Cheers.